a pizza with just nine grams of carbs. <laughs> What is up guys, as you can see we are back with another recipe and this one is a super super good one. A low carb, high protein, low calorie, deep dish bodybuilding pizza, okay? I know pizza is rated GAF, shout out Chris Jones, but realistically the macros aren't always that friendly, especially if from Domino's. But these on the other hand are, okay, per tub you're literally talking like 4 grams of fat, just 9 grams of carbs and 22 grams of protein. So yes, regardless of if bulking or cutting, this is actually going to be a perfect meal. High in protein, low in calorie and easily adaptable and it can be meal prepped up in bulk if you want to have like dinners for the week. So without further ado, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's get buying the ingredients you're going to need for the recipe. And this time we are taking no chances. We're going to the back. Woo! My God, look at the sun shining down on Lord Potato. But yes, we're going to the Bally Crack Tesco's because I'm not risking being thrown out of the Honey Park one. And there is no queue, so win-win. And you know you come here a lot when even the staff sort of recognize you. Here, the Bally Brack Tesco's and Little, they're always like, oh, hey, Scott. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Anyway, here we go. This is what you're gonna need for your first ingredient. Some sort of cheese, actually a lot of different types of cheese. So the first one is gonna be the fat-free cottage cheese. Then we're gonna go for some cheesy triangles. So the Laughing Cow Extra Light, now not the light ones. These are even lower in calorie. And then that is blue cheese. But realistically, ain't nobody got time for blue cheese on a pizza. Then of course, we're gonna go for some cheddar. So the only one they have here is Lolo. Again, I would go for the fat-free one, but they don't have it. So yeah, much like the burritos, the macros for the pizza are actually gonna be based on the fact that this is fat-free cheese, even though it isn't. So if you live in the States, then you're absolutely sorted. If not, go to Muscle Food or my protein but seriously Arlen needs to get like fat free cheddar cheese anyway next we're gonna need a topping and ideally I would go for the super lean ones but I want to make a juicy thumbnail and of course the traditional pizza isn't a pizza without some pepperoni so we're gonna go for some spicy chorizo slices instead now instead of pasta tomato sauce we're gonna use like chopped tomatoes add a bit of chunkiness to it next of course for some extra protein you're gonna need some eggs or just egg whites for veggies we're gonna start out with some onions so the red ones in particular and and then for even more micronutrients, we're gonna go for some peppers, so the red ones are my favorite. Next is what's gonna keep the carbs nice and low, so cauliflower florets, a whole kilo. Now for seasonings, you can add things like basil, or I don't know, they have like the Italian style seasoning, the garlic granules, any of these would go really, really well. And then the final ingredient you are gonna need is a twin pack of Jaffa cakes. Clearly I'm not being serious, but man does need some Jaffa cakes, so we are gonna pick these up. So yes, those are all the ingredients you're gonna need for the pizza. Okie dokie, I definitely didn't think that transition through. But yes, we got our Jaffa cakes, but you're not gonna need those for the recipe, obviously. This is what you're gonna need. So we have everything, we have the chorizo, the cheese, the laughing cow, we have the eggs, the lolo, the cottage cheese, the chopped tomatoes, the onion, and the pepper. And then these are like little containers that we're gonna pop in the oven and make up the mix. So yeah, you can get bigger ones, but they're just from like, your local Chinese takeaways. So yeah, again, this recipe takes probably about 10 to 15 minutes to cook. It really doesn't take too long and you can prep it in bulk for the week. So without further ado, cue the sexy B-roll and the voiceover in 3, 2, 1. Okay, people, one take kid, back in action. Italian one take kid with a low carb deep dish pizza. Oh my God, I really hope I don't butcher this. Let's see if it's possible. But anyway, we're doing well to start off with. Okay, so again, the full recipe will be linked down below in the description for you to go to and print off if you want to try it out. And if you do, please let me know. But you get all the... No, we messed up. Okay, we're keeping on going. You get all the ingredients, you put them on the desk. It's not even a desk, it's a countertop. <laughs> Okay, and then you're going to do your first thing, which is make the base. So you get your cauliflower. In our case, or in my case, I have like the frozen version, so it's a little bit mushy. And it is a little bit harder when it's like that, but after a while it does come out. Okay, so you pop that into a blender and make up pretty much like what would be cauliflower rice if it was um, regular cauliflower. Okay, so you pop it in so like that, and then it comes out like this sort of mush. You'll see it there. Okay, you pop it open. Boom. 
Okay, next you are going to get a Tupperware. Again, you don't have to do this, but this is a super convenient way of like mixing up bulk ingredients. I just add everything into a Tupperware and then you can just mix it or you can even like put the lid on and just shake it and it does it like without having to do all fancy mixy stuff. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you pop everything in there, obviously not the toppings, and then that is going to be your base. So then you transfer that over to the little um, tins. Again, those tins can be bought like anywhere pretty much. I managed to get them from like a Chinese takeaway. And then you are going to heat those up in the oven. Okay, that's going to be your first sort of bake. The key is just to sort of set them going because otherwise they're probably not going to cook once you put everything on top. But anyway, once those are in the oven again, I am very slow here. Hurry up, Scott. <laughs> here we go. So yeah, pop them in the tray and put them in the oven. Then you want to sort of prepare your toppings. Okay, so again, you don't have to go for pepperoni, but pepperoni is a staple on the top of a pizza. So that's what we went for. And then, of course, any seasonings like oregano or oregano. <laughs> Um, garlic salt and all that jazz okay so when the bases are cooked or partially cooked you then add all your toppings so what i like to do is tomato sauce first then the seasonings then a little bit of cheese just a little bit and then top that layer with the pepperoni and then add another layer of cheese on top to seal it in again you probably don't have to do this but i heard who was it like Rob Lips that say it or something? And realistically, that's what I always done anyway. So yeah, seal in those ingredients, cook it up again, and look at those bad boys. Comes out beautifully. And there we go, family. I have done it once again. The volume king, and if you had smell of vision, oh my days, the pepperoni is just ping. But yes, literally, you get this whole batch. Okay, and in terms of macros, you're gonna think I'm a wizard. For the whole batch, you're talking 88 grams of protein, 35 carb, and 16 fat. So 636 calories, which is far less than like 2,000 from Domino's, and you get the four tubs. But realistically, a lot of you might not even have four. You might meal prep up each one separately and then just take one out. So per tub, you're only talking nine grams of carbs. Nine grams, okay? Four grams of fat, four grams! and 22 grams of protein, so 159 calories per tub. Seriously, if that isn't worth a like and a subscribe, I don't know what is, but oh my God, it smells so good. And of course, the recipe is super adaptable. So for example, the option is there just to completely throw the recipe out the window and go for the full whack thing, 1600 calories. You can pretty much get like three of my recipes for the equivalent to this. But if you're living the permabulk life, I guess that's up to you. But of course, like I said, an easy way to lower the fat is to go for a leaner topping. So any chicken or turkey is gonna be far better than a salami. If you're like me and like a fishy one, a ton of chipotle, you could go for some tuna. And you know the deal. Okay, we go for the blue one in brine, not the yellow one in sunflower oil because that one is just unnecessary fat. The blue one, the blue one. <laughs> for my vegan fam out there, you can use vegan cheese and then top it with like tempeh or even some of these like smoky and free slices. Now, if you wanted to increase the carbs, what you could do is instead of the cauliflower, you mash up like a sweet potato and use that as the base. Of course, in terms of vegetables, you can pick whatever veggies you want. So mushrooms would always go well. You can add some leafy greens. Hopefully it's self-explanatory. And here we go, the million dollar question. Comment down below. Do you put pineapple on your pizza? In terms of cheese, I went for the most macro-friendly ones, but you can go for like mozzarella or like Parmesan cheese. If you wanted to add more carbs and actually some protein in the base, you could add some like taco bean mix or any beans. In terms of sauces, you don't have to go for the chopped tomatoes. You can actually go for like a pre-bought pizza sauce and not have the chunks in it. And then of course, you know my staple for you skinny fam out there, if you're struggling to gain weight, throw in some pesto to the mix. But yeah, much like every recipe, use your noggin and be creative and use that imagination, okay? Nothing is set in stone. So if you wanna add something to the mix, feel free to, but hopefully I did give you a few ideas there. And just like that, that's another recipe. Bang out the way. <laughs> Anyway, you seem to like these, even though they're short and sweet, they still provide you some value. You clearly like food, you like making gains, so that is exactly what the series is all about. That's what I'm here for. Let's enjoy our food and make the gains at the same time. So yes, if you like these style of videos, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop!